calls at every in the time. name it's of Jesus you seen drought in your life that even when it is physical Thank rainy you. season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed In fact, let's start from verse 30. We'll read from 30 to 32. 30 to 32. It says, as he spoke these words, this is Jesus now. Many believed on him. 31. Then said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him. He said, if you do what? Continue in my word. Then ye are my disciples indeed. And then 32 says, And ye shall know the truth. You will know the truth by starting as you continue. Somewhere along the lines of your consistency, you will encounter something. Remember the context is continuation. Not just starting to read. Not just a five minutes devotional. Not just a one month study. It says if you continue in my word, you are activating something. That will cause you to eventually encounter the truth. It says, and if it is truth, there is a character of truth. It sets free. Meaning that if you claim to know the word and it still leaves you in bondage or in that situation, then the truth of that word, the final, the, uh, how, how, do I, how do I describe it now? When the word of God is broken down, the unit of it is truth. The capacity to be set free from life's vicissitudes, the capacity to not be under the limitations of life, to rise by understanding and by the liberating power of truth. He says if you continue, meaning it will take a while. He didn't lie to you. He said, if ye continue then you are my disciples then he says and ye shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free ladies and gentlemen there are many people around the world with scriptures with books with tapes with teachings attending seminars and all of them will tell you they have the word all of them will tell you they have the truth but we do not see that liberating power of the truth in their lives. Not their spiritual lives, not their finances, not their ministries. They remain in bondage in spite of their supposed encounter with the word. Something is wrong. If it is truth that you meet, the Bible says the truth shall make you, make you. Like I say, make food for me. The food is not there. You are going to enter a kitchen and make it happen. The Bible says the truth, if encountered, can make what does not exist in your life. It, it never said the truth will bring you freedom. There is no freedom anywhere. Like, like if I tell you, make jollof rice for me. As at the time I was speaking, there's no jollof rice. You will search it and not find it. But I said, make it. Are we together? Your intelligence can gather from any market and any location the cow the vegetables and then combine them in a way that after a few hours there you have plate what you are looking for is freedom but it's not available and then the bible says when you encounter the truth the truth knows what forces to bring together and then all of a sudden something that did not exist will now exist the truth shall make you free free from what free from poverty free from fear free from mediocrity are we together now so the problem usually 
is that we may have encountered the word but we have not encountered the truth let's talk about it in john chapter 18 please give us verse 33 and we're reading to verse 38 something happened between pilate and jesus please listen and learn the bible says pilate entered into the judgment hall again jesus is being judged now and called jesus and said unto him art thou the king of the jews pilate was asking a question next verse we are reading to 38 jesus answered him sayest thou this thing of thyself or did others tell it of thee that means pilate had an information people were murmuring it outside and he came in he said are you a king looking like this the king of the jews and then the next verse pilate answered am i a jew thine own nation and the chief priests have delivered thee unto me what hast thou done 36 jesus answered listen my kingdom is not of this world if my kingdom were of this world then would my servants fight that i should not be delivered to the jews but now is my kingdom not from hence 37 he said pilate therefore said unto him art thou a king remember this is a battle of reality and information he's trying to verify something follow me closely thou sayest that i am a king to this end was i born for this cause came I into the world, that I should bear witness unto what? Talk to me please. That I should be a testifier of the truth. Everyone that is of the truth, heareth my voice. So he's talking of truth now. Next verse. Pilate said unto him, a question that people never ask. What is truth? notice the moment Pilate said what is truth Jesus said I am a testament of the truth immediately he said I find in him no fault in other words because you are the truth you qualify to be free if it is truth it always sets men free are you getting what I'm saying now so Jesus Pilate confessed that because you are a testifier of the truth there is no reason why you should be in this situation when truth shows up no matter what it is it must let you go jesus's remaining there was because of his love for us but pilate said before all he said i find no fault in the truth that's the same way poverty can say i find no fault the truth has come i must give way this has come i must give way when the lord opened my eyes to this scripture i said my goodness everywhere Jesus went that was a system of oppression it couldn't hold him for long because he was truth are we together they held him before a cliff he came out there was scarcity around the truth and the truth said no it shouldn't be and all of a sudden multiplication came because the truth was there are you getting what I'm saying now listen very carefully Everywhere the truth went, the ministry of that truth was to liberate, was to set free. When he got into your house, no matter what it was, that truth made men free. He went to the house of Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus, come down. I'm coming to your house. And within minutes, because Zacchaeus hosted the truth, he was free. And thou shall know the truth. If you ever host the truth, then the truth must make you free. very powerful revelation that means if we remain in bondage the issue is not just satan the issue is that we may have been receiving scripture and bible study but the truth has not come because when the truth comes the bible says it makes you free it fabricates freedom from wherever and ministers it to you is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. Many people keep bragging around with their acquisition of scriptures 
and they are criming of scriptures and they are participating in teachings listen carefully the truth is not just a right information there are many right informations that are not the truth you have to understand this you only say an information is correct based on a reference unfortunately the reference itself can be wrong are we together now there is something that science science has pieced together a body of facts and whoever aligns with that body of fact with respect to science is walking in the version of the truth is that true but science itself must be vetted by someone higher than it are you getting what i'm saying culturally speaking there are there is a system of understanding and behavior built by culture and to the degree to which you align with it we say you are walking in the truth so there is a lot of relativity when it has to do with the subject of truth what is permissible to a person and within a context may not be permissible to another person within another context but here's what jesus said i am the way i am the truth not a truth the truth that means i am the ultimate system of freedom and liberation an encounter with the truth makes men free if you claim to have knowledge of the word of god if you claim to have found something you think is true and it does not produce the requisite freedom then it is not the truth it may be something else it may be a well-meaning information that is correct based on a historical system of agreement they have agreed that whoever does it this way i give you an instance in our world today if a woman just looks at herself and says i want to get pregnant without a man that is not true as far as the educated opinion of men is concerned is that true but when the truth was ready to find expression there was a system that was created that would have been told a lie by science be careful what you call true and false there must be a reference because with respect to god there are some things that are agreed as true by men but then when it comes to god god says no way lazarus died that was the truth based on what doctors like david and his colleagues would say they had checked him and there was no pulse it was over but when the truth came he said what did you say three days roll away the stone this is the truth if it is the truth he sets men free are we together they buried the truth and covered it in a grave after three days the grave opened and the truth came out if it is truth then it must set free the question is why are we still helplessly under so much bondage we pray we fast we sleep on our bibles we quote bibles we listen to tapes yet it looks like our situation is not even scared of our spiritual investments could it be that we are not encountering the truth even before pilate the proof the truth prevailed the moment jesus said look leave the issue of king i am truth Pilate said what is truth and he said this man is free i may not understand what truth is but i'm a victim of the effect of that truth i must let you go i must let you go what if you knew the truth about your life and destiny what if you knew the truth that you were not a victim of situations and circumstances what if what they told you about your upbringing was a lie it was culturally true but from the reference of god is a lie what if your past and what he told you were a lie with respect to god a lie is not a wrong information a lie is any information that was not brought from god is a lie it doesn't matter how right it is if it did not originate from god then it's not true The Bible says in 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 7, 
2 Timothy, when you read from verse three and verse, uh, chapter 3 and verse 7, the Bible talks about this group of people, zealous people like we are. It says that they are ever learning. Please look up. Ever learning, but never able. Learning does not guarantee an encounter with truth. That you are sitting with a Bible does not mean you are encountering truth. That you are sitting with a tape. Did you hear the testimony of the dear lady who was listening to the seven days um, prayer and fasting? She said she had been listening to it. Just because you started the tape, started and finished with your ear hearing it does not mean you can counter the truth. She said at that point a prayer came and light opened and all of a sudden she received. And the results showed immediately. A friend that had no business helping her. That's the truth making a way now. The truth always makes a way. Don't leave no uncle nonsense. You don't need. Once the truth comes. The truth will find a way around it. Because the truth is not just an information. The truth is also a person. So when the truth comes into the womb of a barren woman. What happens? The truth starts making a way. It finds out what is the issue first. And they say, ah, this woman has no womb. And the truth said, there is still a way. There is still a way. Prophesy to yourself and say, there is still a way. Look at the challenges that stand before you. That you cannot see a way does not mean there is no way. Just stop looking for a way. Let truth come. Truth knows where the way is. Ah! You move mountains. You cause walls to fall with your power. You perform miracles. There is nothing that's impossible. And I'm standing here only because you made. Sit down, let me tell you. There is no uncle anywhere who is going to help you. There is no, a, an uncle only helps when the truth makes him part of the actors of your breakthrough. Nobody just comes because he knows you. Ye shall know the truth. Many of us are trying to find ways and methods. Whereas the secret is to stay until the truth comes. When the truth comes, light must come. Let me show you something. Let me show you something that will bless you. What's, what's, the, what's the scripture now? Help me, Holy Spirit. Um, Isaiah 29. Isaiah 29. Give us from verse 11 and 12. Isaiah 29, verse 11 and 12. Let me show you that just because you have a book called the Bible in your hand does not mean you have access to truth. Read it with me. He said, and the vision of all is become unto you as the words of a book that is sealed. He did one that is what? Learned. Saying, read this, I pray thee. And he said, I cannot. Not because I can't open it. It is sealed. Sealed. Next verse. <laughs> and the book is delivered to him that is not learned, saying, Read this, I pray thee. And he said, I am not learned. Both the educated and the uneducated stand helpless in the presence of this book. Where is the key? How do men read it? I thought by being learned, I will automatically understand it. It is not science. The book is sealed. There is a spirit with the key that opens it. Your spirit opens to me the treasures of your word. I will forever sing your praise. Your spirit opens to me the treasures of your word. I will forever sing your praise. Listen, listen. This book you see has written in it the codes of your destiny but it is always sealed i told you everything glorious is what covered no glorious thing is revealed you don't buy a product without a package so your destiny is there but it is sealed going to school 
is very important but when it comes to the matters of the spirit my brother my sister don't let the pride of education make a fool of your destiny that's why we have many intellectuals who brag and say what is god a can become c and they are trying to make c out of a forever whereas the maker is truth a foolish man can come with his foolishness and sincerity and say lord i, I can't amount to much my life you see is a testament of this they are life to those who find them when you find it it looks like a charm it's impossible for life to keep you down this is not some bragging no if it is the truth if you ever see a mountain start laughing there must be a way there must be a way Pilate looked at Jesus and said if you are a witness of the truth then I find no fault I'll let you go Are you learning something tonight? It's not just opening the Bible and then reading, oh, James chapter this, the Bible said this, in the name of Jesus, I will never be, that's, that's just, that's, that's scripture, you are just playing games. Many of us keep flattering ourselves for many years, thinking, I'm not saying reading your Bible is not important. I have found the missing key why many well-meaning believers don't get results. They are not lazy. They are more serious than even some of us pastors. Take laziness out of the equation. Why is life hard for many people? What is the mystery of this hardship? Close heavens everywhere. No help, failure, pain. There is a, an explanation. The book that you have been reading is sealed. That you got a message from me to preach does not mean it has been opened to you. No, sir. Have you ever opened a scripture and then you are reading, you've been reading it and all of a sudden you see something there that you never saw and then you can mark that day and say something shifted. That, that portion of scripture was open to you. I remember studying about the anointing for many years. I read books and books. A lot of people got their revelation from Good Morning Holy Spirit. You've never had me mention it because i didn't get anything from it i read it good morning holy spirit i was blessed but i didn't see anything there and i just stayed if you continue that's the key and then one day the portals when it opens it is open when jesus stood for to read in the temple the bible says they brought to him the scroll of isaiah it was open and he said this day you have been reading it and thinking it's some prophet somewhere but i am the manifestation of this brothers and sisters let me tell you this if we don't get serious with our lives to find truth we are going to keep convincing ourselves and jumping around quoting scriptures that for a very long time our lives will not capture the levels of freedom that befits one who claims to have that knowledge of truth i know many wonderful lovely men and women of god struggling around the ministry sincere they won't steal nothing they won't do anything notice that both the learned and the unlearned are still victims of the same thing so what is the key i will show you <laughs> ah, i will show you ephesians chapter 3 Ephesians chapter 3. We are going to read from verse 1 to 5. Note this. You know, there are many people who keep talking word of God, word of God, word of God. I, I don't have a problem with it. It is true. But we are missing something very vital. Vital. The book by itself is sealed. You will only read, a, you will read stories from it. For this cause, I, Paul, a prisoner of Jesus Christ for you Gentiles. Uh-huh. If ye have heard of the dispensation of the grace of God, which is given me to you, word. What is the grace? How that what? Uh-huh. He made. Stop. He made. I didn't learn it. How that by revelation, he 
he made who is the he someone came to me and opened the book he made known unto me the mystery as i wrote afore in few words verse 4 whereby when ye read when ye read ye may understand my knowledge the basis of what you are reading is not just that i wrote someone came and opened something to me and i want to help you too because if all you do is to just read you will not find anything it says when you read you may understand my knowledge in the mystery of christ verse 5 which others which in other ages was not made known so this thing is made known it's not studied it's made known it's like occult it is made known if it has not been made known, my brother, my sister, let me tell you, you will fast and pray and never find it. It is made known. A man can receive nothing except it is given. This is how we rest in the kingdom. We keep struggling and thinking it's just by all of these things. No. Your press and then he comes to make it known. If God does not make it known, you will never find it. It is so obvious, yet you will look and look and never find it. It says, which in other ages was not made known unto the sons of men, as it is now revealed to his holy apostles and prophets by who is the he? Talk to me, who is the he? So the he comes to you and says, this book cannot open except I am there. The book can give you the word, but the spirit can show you the truth. You need truth. That's what you need. You don't just need word like word like that. When you say this, many believers think you are encouraging people to not be serious about the word of God. Let me tell you in all honesty, I doubt, I, I doubt if I've seen any man that is more passionate about the word of God than me. There may be, but I've not seen one. But I found out that your life is going to be a chronicle of frustrations if you don't understand how truth comes out of the word. It says, which in other ages was not made known to the sons of men as it is now revealed unto his holy apostles and prophets. Jeremiah 33, please, and verse 3. Help us, media. Jeremiah chapter 33. Please read with me. Koinonia is projected inside and outside. One to go. Uh-huh. Stop. I will what? I will what? I will show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Doesn't matter how long you've been studying it. He said you don't know it. That's why the results are not speaking. But when you call on to me, I will answer and the answer is that I will come and I will show you. Brothers and sisters, listen to me. We have ignored the Holy Spirit and carried Bibles all around, hoping that just by reading it intellectually, we'll be able to put A and B together. And the Bible tells us that the mysteries in this book are sealed. That's why they are called mysteries. When you read the Bible, outside of the ministry of the holy spirit all you will see is potentials for possibilities you will keep seeing them but your life will never never experience them one of the greatest secrets in my life is the ability to allow the holy spirit to open up scripture open up scripture open up scripture John chapter 16, please. We'll begin our reading from verse 12. John chapter 16. We'll begin our reading from verse 12. Read with me, please. One, to read. I have yet many things to say unto you, but ye cannot bear them now. Why? Because you are natural and these things are spiritually discerned. Are we together? Verse 13. How be it? When he, the what? The spirit of truth. Not just the Holy Ghost. The spirit of truth is come. What will he do? Please talk to me. He will guide you through the book. He will guide you into all truth. 
for he shall not speak of himself but whatsoever he shall hear that shall he speak and he will show you things to come he will show you and you've seen it all through scripture people are shown things people are shown things if you are not shown anything you will continue bragging around with scripture and never have results your assignment is not just to sit down and read your bible religiously your assignment is among other things to cry for the manifestation of the spirit of truth all scripture was inspired by him he knows the codes that are enshrined in this book but it is sealed it will take hunger to cry for him but brothers and sisters when he comes and opens it to you you and all others will stand in awe of your destiny this is the mystery behind great men this is the mystery behind great destinies a spirit came to them and showed them things whether it is in the occult or in the faith life nobody rises without being shown things he must show you and I was taken in the spirit Ezekiel and I was shown this what have you been shown or what have you been reading you have been reading in the name of Jesus I will never be poor you have been reading he owns the cattle on a thousand hills you have been quoting it you have been doing everything but you are just reading potentials it is sealed when the spirit comes he will not quote the scripture he will show you the quote in the scripture when the holy spirit comes he will not tell you no 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 he will show you something that may not make sense for another person there's something god showed me about the anointing there's something god showed me about growth there's something god showed me about victory there's something god showed me on how to deal with enemies whatever is not shown you becomes the gate to your destruction you have to find out what you have not seen and cry with all your heart and say, Lord, show me. Let me tell you how you know you have not sh shown. You, whenever you do what is supposed to be the obvious solution and it does not work, then it means there is more. There is more. Apostle, I, I pay my tithe. Apostle, I give. Apostle, I'm a sincere man of God. I study my Bible all doors are closed there is something that has not been shown you let me use the example of our dear pastor did you think that all the people that rose up for him just came to asaba in the last two months were they always there so what happened why was the climate harsh over him look how well meaning he is i've been to his meeting once an adorable man of god and his wife it's amazing how life does not give the excuse for you being sincere it doesn't say you are sincere and then no sincerity is not the seed for greatness you can be as sincere as possible and find out that you are a victim of everything bad you know pastors come to me and they say apostle i can stand before god and tell you i love god with all my heart I say i'm a man of god if you are lying i will tell you and then they now say apostle but why is life treating me this way like i told you was it last week or the week before last i begin to nod my head in pain because i know that um the solution is not just to pray there is something that they don't know and my brother my sister until this book is open to you and your eyes see your destiny will remain small we are all gathered today now scattered across inside and outside and those following online because god showed a man something your generation is dependent on what you see they are they are waiting earnestly to say man of god what has god shown you that you can bring to the table if all you are taking to destiny is your degree get set for a big shock if all you are taking is just your sincere heart get set for another shock if all you are taking is your uncles that you know my uncle somewhere my auntie somewhere no i don't study the bible to crime scriptures or to preach i search for light 
I search for truth. There are very few people who ever know how I study the Bible. Because if I teach you, it will frustrate you. I can stay on a scripture for a long time. Because there is something I'm searching. God can show me like a code. I can see half of the truth. And see the other part two years later. And until I see it, I will wait. But when that code comes, pack, 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 pack. The seals are open. And the results follow. No devil stops it. When, when the seal is broken and open, then your life will be a wonder even to you. <laughs> Favor is here, but is sealed. There is a mystery to it. The anointing, there is a mystery. The helpers of your destiny are here. The problem is not the book. The problem is that it is sealed. When you are not aware that the book is sealed, then you are in trouble. Because you will continue to read. How many churches have continued to read this every Sunday? Sunday after Sunday. But there is no one to come to testify that this is what God has done. Please hear me. I want you to learn. Some of you to take years to understand what I'm sharing with you. As simple as it sounds. Your goodness is real. I testify. Your goodness is real. Your favor is real. I testify. Your favor is real. Your power is real. I testify. When the Lord gave me the revelation on the body of Christ, let me tell you this. I didn't read it in any book. I remember lying down like a child when the Lord came with this scripture of for this cause the lord began to teach me that there are four encounters the son the spirit the word and the body and that the reason why many people never rise in life is because they've had the three encounters but not the body i said so there is something called an encounter with the body and my life changed every true apostle of the lord must deliver a mystery to a generation there must be something god gives you by the spirit this is not just bible study it is that he comes to you he doesn't come to me every time but he comes i remember when god was delivering to me the secret of church growth i read i study i've studied young Gicho's materials studied bishop oyedepo's materials but here he comes the code for your own destiny given to you that someone else will do and will not work for him because it was open for you that's why you see people doing things that should not work but it works hmm. i'm doing my best to try to explain this thing to you sometimes it's very difficult to understand to explain spiritual things All you see is the result that follows. But behind those results are strange encounters that walk together. And they make a way. They make a way. Brothers and sisters, look at me. I love you. That's why I'm teaching this. I can come and just talk to you and we laugh and joke. I am so passionate about your results. And the way many of us are going about it, you will never find it that way. I'm telling you this. I'm saving your life from frustration so that you will not jump like others have done for many years and then one day you'll find out they are not even in the faith and they say don't bring any Jesus talk I've tried him it doesn't work you only tried scripture when you try the truth sit back and watch it make a way strange ways in the wilderness ways that should not be there the truth will cut away out of a rock. The truth will cut away out of a river. And you will cross and they will look back and not be able to find a way again. And they'll say, hey, Jimmy, what way did you follow? And you say, I don't know. The truth just made a way. The Egyptians tried to trace the way that the truth made for the Israelites. They couldn't find it. They drowned. The song of Miriam, I will sing unto the Lord for he has triumphed gloriously. Even the horses and the rider. 
has been thrown. The same way somebody passes is the same way that kills another person because it has to be a way made by the truth for you. Someone can do a business that lifts him and you do a business the one that kills you because it's sealed. It was not open for you. Someone can use the same word you are speaking to get favor. You will use it and get destruction because you are just speaking. Light of the world, you step down into darkness. Open my hands, let me see. Light of the world, you step down into darkness. Open my eyes, let me see. Sing it one more time. You're the light of the world. You step down into darkness. Open my eyes, let me see. Listen. When you are not filled with the Holy Spirit, you are in a position where you will remain in darkness forever. Jesus himself told us why he sent us the spirit of truth. Not just to pray gibberish in tongues. No. The Holy Ghost was sent to us not to make us men of God. The Holy Ghost was sent to us not to make us pastors. The Holy Ghost was sent as the opener of the sealed book to guide you into all truth. The book is there, but it must be opened by the wisdom and the intelligence of one who is not human. He made known unto me. He made known unto me. He made known unto me. First Corinthians chapter 2. Please give it to us. First Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 12. First Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 12. Read with me, please. Everyone is projected. Just read and then you write it down. One to read. Uh-huh. Not the spirit of the world. Stop. In any case, you must receive a spirit. So there is the spirit of the world that inspires men and opens codes for men based on the laws of life. And they can manipulate it and get some results. And God is saying, so that when you are inspired, you don't think it's the same thing that inspired someone somewhere. There are two spirits. There is the spirit of the world. A man tells you he was just sitting down. And he made a discovery. It's a lie. Nobody makes a discovery. A spirit comes to you and opens up a portal of a reality. And then you quickly scrabble it and walk around it. And the whole world marvels. And they call you Albert Einstein. And they call you Michael Faraday. And they call you the Wright brothers. The Bible is saying there is no such thing as just a human invention by yourself. It's not true. A spirit must come to you and open up what is sealed. But the spirit which is of God. Why? That we may know the things that are freely given to us of God. There are things that are freely given. So says the book. But the spirit of God, the spirit of truth comes and opens you. So that you will now comprehend. And then you walk in the reality, the light of it. And my brother, my sister, your life will suddenly change in a way and manner. Your family members will look at you and say, what charm? What did you touch? Look at this. Come promise. If by next week, promise suddenly enters a dimension of the anointing, a dimension of revelation, and let's assume five jeeps come from different people around the world and is parked in front of his house. Nobody will say, promise, so you are this hard working. Someone will call and say, promise, come. Where did you go to? Who did you meet? We know that the arm of flesh cannot produce that result. Who assisted you? Just tell me. And he'll say, well, it's a long story. Are you ready to do what? I say, I'm ready now. Say, okay, meet me by 11.30. Let's go to one corner somewhere. So everyone knows you would, be, you would be unwise to see what God is doing through my life and this ministry 
and believe it's just hard work no no what more do you need to see to convince you no man can do these things except a spirit be with him with God all things are possible without him on your own there are things that are not possible many of us have been fighting alone do, listen to what I'm telling you and you will watch your life change in a way that will surprise you I kept thinking about this and I said Lord look at what you've done with my life all because I saw the Holy Ghost and I said Holy Spirit I am weak I am dull in myself I'm not condemning myself is the truth I am ignorant I may not even have the strength but if for any reason you can hold my hand I am available just that one decision turned my life around I shared with you about my dream and vision you will get it in different messages I can't remember when I preached exactly that I saw a whole generation of people crying and they were saying there was no food no water and I wanted to go and rescue them but I was weak in myself but then I was determined to go out the moment I stepped out there was a giant mighty man he just held my hands and said let's go and if our God is for us then help me stop us and if our God is with us then sing one more time and if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then we we'll prophesy to yourself. your enemies criticize you and waste their time there is nothing that can be done about a man who the holy ghost has held his hand nothing it's too late once the holy ghost holds your hand and says let's go you will climb mountains and walk through valleys when the door settles you are still standing and you will say to you be all the glory and men will say how are you doing it it's not by charms it's not by brain work this is not a plus b no you see that i treasure the holy spirit so much to a point that many people just say oh this 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 spirit thing is too much just focus on the word you keep doing it that way and see whether your destiny will be open i believe in the word but the word is useless until the spirit breathes upon it he is the one who gives life to the word the first the first person of the Godhead revealed was him not the word the word came after he was revealed in the beginning look at the order God created the heavens and the earth we didn't have an opportunity to see how that happened in verse 2 there was darkness then the first of the Godhead if he was the first in the creation of earth he must be the first in your life too he's showing you how to come out of chaos many of us just stand religiously Acts chapter this john chapter this and we keep jumping around and the holy spirit says no it is sealed that's why an unbeliever will carry the bible and all he will see is a compendium of controversies you will see things that don't add up in scripture god saying this one and god saying another thing and saying uh -uh, god says doesn't lie see how many lies he made because you are reading what is sealed but when the spirit of truth comes he will open your eyes others are looking but you are seeing all of a sudden you will see something others are not seeing and then you will walk in a dimension they are not working in i cry to god and say lord this man is a weak man you have to help me and the lord said he will help me and all of a sudden my life changed i'm introducing to you not just a book you have it 
I'm introducing to you not just tongues, you can pray in tongues. I'm introducing to you not just God in you, you have him in you. I'm introducing to you what Yongicho will call Holy Spirit, my senior partner. If anyone ever tells you what is the secret behind Apostle's life, if you say prayer, you are lying. If you say Bible study, you are lying. If you say worship, you are lying. If you say sacrifice, you are lying. All of those are secrets. The greatest secret is that a weak man holds a strong God who makes that weak man a strong man. That's what God can do. That's what God can do. The treasure that is in earthen vessel but held by a superior power that no force, no cause, no witch, no devil can stop. He told Joshua, no man will be able to stand against you all the days of your life. Brothers and sisters, don't you see? It? You have been trying in the flesh. You have been doing, oh, I, I think if I, if I buy one golf now and I do this and I understand this and that investment, I will rise. And the Holy Ghost just stands back and watches the ignorance. And you, I, I know, let me just get one golf. I will be getting 10,000 10, every week. I'm a smart businessman. Then if I get another job in the bank as you are calculating it, I'm not saying those things are useless. But here he stands, the gentle spirit, watching your ignorance and your pride punish you. How can you walk when you don't know the way of the way? How can you run when you don't know the way of the Spirit? How can you fly when you don't know the way of the wind? Power at work in you. Swallow your pride tonight. Come to the school of the spirit. Don't you know in his hands are the keys to eternal life? It's a little here, a little here. Feel your day. the secret no matter how dull you think you are no matter what village let them laugh at you while you walk many people laughed at me years ago for holding his hands they laughed and today they buried their head in shame for holding my hand the Holy Ghost is not the president of a nation the Holy Ghost is not the CEO of a bank the one who turned chaos in Genesis 1 verse 2 to light holds your hand and someone laughs at you what pride when he held my hands I knew nothing about the anointing when he held my hands I knew I had no zero wisdom you were better than me when he held my hands I wasn't as smart as you but I was stupid enough to hold him and said no matter what it is I hold your hands I hold your hands he will hold your hand as you go to the nations people will talk and say let's watch what will become of him and swallow their words after many years because there is a hand there is a grace he is the creative power behind this ministry the wisdom you see is not the wisdom of a man you will read books and read books and read books and be tired and never find it because it is a is sealed are we together sealed all of the things I do today about the anointing he taught me how could I have known how old am I 
aren't you seeing that what what is happening is more ancient ancient this is not the wisdom of a man Kadosh Kadosh You are mighty on your Kadosh for me to celebrate things like birthdays what what are you celebrating who are you really celebrating take him out of my life and the secret of a foolish man outside of him is revealed but when he stands with you thanks be to God who always causes us to triumph listen I say it again there is nothing you can do with a man that the Holy Ghost has held his hands. No, sir. No, sir. It's a grand formula for victory. When he came upon Jesus, he turned Jesus to Christos, the Christ. Jesus was just a carpenter's son. Just anyone on the street. But when the Holy Ghost came, the spirit of truth, the spirit of truth, when he comes to your business, he will change it in a way that will surprise you. The spirit of truth. When it comes to your ministry. Listen, let me tell you this. I never, listen. I never stop getting amazed at the formula people invent in hope that will work out whether for ministry or whatever. I teach you principles here but principles will never replace presence. Principles only become useful when presence is intact. God is not science. Listen, oh brilliant people. I may not be as smart as you. And I beg your pardon. But if it has to do with victory in this life, someone must hold your hands. And someone must show you. The physical principle of fatherhood should teach us that you never rise alone. Someone must hold your hands and lift you. We have ignored the Holy Spirit because of the embarrassment that follows walking with Him. Oh, I tell you, there is big embarrassment walking with Him because your way will not be the regular way of people. Because your life will not be within the context of others. But if you can be foolish to still stay and say, Holy Spirit, where will I go to? Jesus said, will you also go? And they said, to whom shall we go? You alone have the key. I have watched people mock God I have they have not mocked God by mocking God directly they have mocked God by mocking his wisdom ah. there are people looking for anointing reading books getting all kinds of formula do a plus B add C to it then the power of God will move let me tell you this I say this by the authority of the kingdom you are wasting your time God is not a herbalist. 
is only a herbalist you can receive charm from without a relationship but when it comes to God he will not show you power first he will reveal himself Moses wanted to see his glory he said no 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 Moses I am that I am let's let's discuss first every promise God made to me I have watched it come to pass as at the time he said it I never knew how it would happen but God when he speaks be foolish enough to believe that Lord you are able God is able to do strings just what he said he will do he's got a soul not the Holy Ghost you are holding. Koinonia, hear me. I keep introducing him to you. Hold his hands and watch what he will make out of your life. Leave all the, the unwise people who keep mocking God. Just do A and B. C must happen. Who are you to make C happen? How old are you to make C happen? A plus B does not guarantee C in this life. The person to make C happen can die. But when God holds your hand, anything plus anything can become anything doesn't make sense look at this the dear pastor comes and all of a sudden a hand is laid on him it's not a hand that is laid on him it's more than a hand my brother if it's just laying on of hands you go and do it a hand is laid he carries that possibility enters a land that was not favoring him and all of a sudden things start changing I am a blessing to you and to the world today simply because of his ability to help me Ebenezer is my testimony I am a man who has been helped by God helped in every way by God he said, if the Lord had not been on our side, now may Israel say, with the enemies that fool the world, with the enemies of the gospel, where do you stand when God does not hold your hand? The results that we now celebrate, glory be to God, but they are products of Him. Listen, if you think good preaching is what is going to give you influence forever, save Johnny. I wish you the best of luck go and search the bible and search history and find people like alexander the way who communicated mysteries that at the end of their lives they were almost committing suicide because even if knowledge abound they will cease knowledge will cease all of these things will cease but when you want to become indestructible in this life hold his hands and do what he tells you to do and walk with him don't command him and say holy spirit my boy go and bring me money that's what many of you are doing holy spirit my boy go and bring me my wife go and bring me my husband go and bring me members go and bring me prosperity and he says when i came to you was i a tenant or the landlord The word of God the Holy Ghost was given to us 
among other things to unseal this for many years i read my bible did you know for many years there were times that i would not even read my bible for a while i'll just carry the devotional repent and read it do you know why many of you open the bible and it worries you you are looking at it but you are reading something that is sealed that's why you cannot get life from it you will open today you don't know what to read no not when he's guiding you tonight we are going to pray we are going to take serious time to pray we are going to pray and embrace afresh his ministry in your life his person in your life he is the secret whether you are a businessman whether you are a husband you are a wife you are a man of god you are a woman of god the starting point of your victory is hinged on your passion and your love for him listen let me tell you this before we begin to pray listen to me carefully when i was writing the things that i now do that the holy spirit was revealing to me at a point in time i just sat down and i said holy spirit you must be joking is this it this foolish i think i'm smart the thing with god is the spirit of god is very gentle the moment you begin to interrupt his wisdom with your i too know mentality he just steps back you do it your way Go ahead and do it your way some things in our lives are not just an attack it's us alone without him whether satan was existing or not is the same trouble you would have that is the natural consequence of ignoring him i love him so much koinonia is built on intimacy with the holy spirit he's the one who has given the word of god value Look at what the messages are doing around the world. Do you think that is just because the message is so powerful? No. If he holds your hand, he holds your finances. He holds whatever comes from you. Someone called me the other day and said they were inside a taxi, a cab. And the cabman, every time he picks you, he, he, his own gift to you is that he will play one koinonia message. I don't know the cabman. And he just continued like that. There are people who have met angels who gave them koinonia messages not human beings they entered meetings and gave them messages i i was I'm true to, to god i don't share all these testimonies i was told of someone who bought a memory card new memory card new brand new memory card slotted it in his phone and all he saw was koinonia message new memory card with seal seal he opened it I'm not lying to you a pastor from Gambia a great a great man of God from Gambia we spoke yesterday he said he was so depressed and he got to a point where he was washing plates in his house and he didn't know what to do and all of a sudden he said he, he just went on YouTube and how he got across one teaching and as soon as he got that one teaching his life changed he said by next Sunday the church changed and exploded he saw the manifestations of the spirit the word seeds were coming and he said who is this he introduced it to his wife the wife listened to the same message he did the wife didn't know the message he had listened to but she went to search on her own and listened to the same message you had the pastor that came last week from abuja just arriving here someone calls him to buy 300 shares it's not the work of a man no sir our parents are struggling now and suffering because they have embraced every other thing except him our our world is dying because we have ignored him don't join them don't join them to ignore him already your past the family background you came from is already a disadvantage on its own the only advantage in your life is him when you find him he will forget about your enemies forget about critics i'm telling you don't waste your time just leave all those things stay with him let him hold your hand my brother my sister and watch what he will do with your church and watch what he will do with your business 
and watch what he will do you may be crying while you are holding him i guarantee you the cry of pain will soon become the cry of joy you just hold his hands worship him hold his hands as you sing don't carry skill and a nice voice alone we live in a wicked world if all you carry is a nice voice you will not last one year human beings will suck you like an orange and throw you and look for the next happening thing but you remain fresh when you hold him impossible to be ignored impossible to be ignored he's gonna fulfill every promise to My God is able. He truly is able. Listen. Look at me. In Nigeria today, an average young man cannot get established without some kind of bribe or some kind of thing to have to corner and lie and do something. You want to walk in integrity and righteousness the environment is already hostile against you the fact that you name the name of christ alone is trouble for you they will hate you at your workplace hate you everywhere what then is your advantage your advantage is not just the miracles that he brings the advantage is him if you can hold his hands and say holy spirit i am weak i confess my ignorance i don't know so much i know that if i try to be established my way the church will never grow the influence will never grow but i submit to you you are the fountain of wisdom you are the spirit of truth open up to me and then the holy ghost will say all right you step back and then he will show you a b c and your life changes you will stand as shocked as those looking at you and just nod your head and say God what are you doing I hardly share my testimonies I had to minimize it because of wisdom and so that it can encourage people to rise there are things brothers and sisters if I tell you some of you will not sleep I myself the recipient of that testimony sometimes i wake up in the night and just sit on my bed and say lord what is this what is this Halakbara, you are the mighty god hey. That song had been in my spirit for throughout last week. I don't know how to sing. You are going to sing that song. After it, we are going to take our time and pray. Help us, please. Jesus said. Take all of the 
worship team, you just set the atmosphere for us. You're going to take, you're not asking for anything. We're going to take out time and pray in the spirit. One of the mysteries that we were given to accessing the mind of God is praying in the spirit. I'd like you to take out time and just blast in tongues and pray seriously in the spirit. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Everywhere, inside, outside, those online, follow us as we pray.
handover ceremony and say lord i come with everything both what i think is wisdom and foolishness i come in with my limitations and i come to you you are the only one who can make meaning out of my life i come to you lift your voice and pray and cry cry for his presence in your life Get tired of things not working in your life and cry for his wisdom. Oh, Cry for his wisdom. Cry for his wisdom. Cry Lord, I need you in my life. I need you in my life. I'm tired of making I ask for your will. Come, Lord Jesus. Come, Spirit of Truth. Hey, Shanana Nabakosa. Palaba Nabakosa. Zeketeli Gada. In Zeketeli Bakosa. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. Then the secret was revealed. Daniel did not find it. Then the secret was revealed. Then the secret was revealed. I don't know what area in your life you need to see the hand of God desperately. I like you to open your mouth and say, Lord, show me. There has to be a secret. Open up this scripture. Hey, open up this scripture. You are the custodian of the wisdom of God. You are the custodian of truth. Show me. Show me. Show me. Show me. Show me the secret to the anointing. Show me to the secret to increase. The secret to ever increasing fire. The secret to spiritual power. The secret to influence. The secret to activating my destiny. Show me, O God. The book is sealed. Open my eyes. 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 What must I do to prosper? What must I do to rise? What is the key in the spirit? What is the key in the spirit? Listen, look up. When Jesus, watch this. When Jesus was transfigured, he showed us the secret to his transfiguration by the appearance of two men. The law and the prophet. Not just the law of Old Testament. That if you want to be transfigured, the principles of the kingdom and the ministry of the prophetic standing side by side like Moses and the prophet becomes your key to rising. When Jesus was transfigured, we saw two men. Elijah did not appear. Enoch did not appear because they were not responsible. They were not the spiritual mysteries. The Bible says that Moses... Moses stood on one side and Elijah, I meant to say, sorry. Ezekiel and other prophets did not appear. Elijah was standing representing the prophetic. Moses was representing the law. And he said, the book that contains those laws, don't let it depart. 
he's showing you how to succeed jesus did not just rise like that the law not just the law of the old testament the precepts of god you can have all the principles but there is no prophetic voice and you remain there no glory you can do something that should prosper because there is obedience to principles but there is no voice it's like ingredients if you have rice you don't need as much tomato as you need rice but don't put the tomato and see you can't say you have jollof rice because of that small tomato including salt sometimes you you need one mutu of rice and then a few spoons of salt but you refuse to put that salt and see how it will mess up the whole food something you may be missing because your eyes have not been opened you've done everything but the last key to just strike it and open it that's what i keep doing all the time that's what i keep doing all the time when i speak over your life i'm not repeating myself when i speak over your life i'm standing to fulfill all righteousness in the spirit by the wisdom of the spirit i've taught you that jesus walked under a closed heaven for 30 years as the word of god until a prophet came to his life and spoke and baptized him immersed him and his heavens were open if jesus operated and open heavens for 30 years till he met john the baptist in the spirit and power of elijah your destiny will close almost forever until there is a voice listen listen i want you to get to a point in your life where you no longer fight spiritual realities the earlier you learn this the better for you do it before you start having children do it before it gets too bad because darkness for sure is covering the earth and cross darkness the people but upon you the glory of god will continue to arise it's not just because you are a man of god we trade secrets in this kingdom to stand and one of it is the holy spirit holding you but not just holding you opening to you the mysteries of the kingdom continue to read your bible but don't think you will find it just by reading you will get to a point where he will give you the eyes to see they are life to those who find them that means he's missing no until he opens it to you i found certain things in my life it was bishop oyedeko that shared with us that he found the key to kingdom prosperity and he spinned round and shouted yay i can never be poor i'm sure people laughed at him but you found it if you found it you found it i want you to succeed I want you to excel i'm showing you the precepts of the kingdom listen take luck out of it don't call what you don't understand luck that's arrogance there is a very serious dynamic working that you are not aware does not mean nothing is being engaged you will see what will begin to happen to your life shortly when men say why is it happening like this don't lie that you don't know what you did yes it is it is the lord's doing that's why it is marvelous a man's doing cannot be marvelous in your eyes a man's doing is natural that's why i don't clap for you for walking because it's a man's doing men walk naturally born again or not but there are results that when we see we know that this one is the finger of god rabbi we know that thou art a man sent from god for no man can do this except god be with him it's a message i want you to carry to everyone you love jesus said come on to me are you seeing now come on does not wisdom cry come on to me 
why will you continue to suffer and struggle listen i'm bringing us to a point where we fulfill proverbs chapter 3 from verse 5 to 7 trust in the lord with all your heart and lean not he's giving you a word of caution Oh, wise man, lean not on your own understanding. He says, in all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. He said, be not wise in your own understanding. Verse 7, he said, fear the Lord and turn away from evil. It is because we are wise in our own understanding. If God does not lead me, I don't have where to go. I don't trust what I can do. I will mislead people with my ignorance. But when he comes, you can dare the unbearable. You can stand and look at Goliath and say, Goliath, you come against me with your bows and your spheres, but I come against you in the name of the Lord God, the captain of the host of heaven, whom you have defied. And Goliath, you don't mind him while he's talking. Am I a dog that you are coming with a sling? Say, just keep watching. Is the same way God can give you an instruction by the Holy Ghost. You've been dancing all the time, but the Holy Ghost will wake you by two and say, just dance to 2.30. It's not the ordinary dance. You just finish dancing. That dance will give you twins. That dance will give you an estate. And if people ask you, how did you get it? You say, I dance. They say, please don't turn us into idiots. How did you get it? I know you did all those church things. I said, well, should I lie? I'm telling you how I did it. The mysteries of the kingdom the mysteries of the kingdom the mysteries of the kingdom I want to release my faith with you in one minute I want you to be sensitive to from today till Sunday but I want you to ask the Lord for three major things that you want to see done in your life things that don't ask for small things carnal things ask for something that is destiny shifting as for something that that is able you know elisha had no business gehazi had no business ha having his eyes open but when he was close to elisha the prophet he said i'm not seeing what you are seeing and he said okay let me make your eyes see he didn't say just mm -hmm. take advantage of my spiritual climate and see what i'm seeing A man came in the midst of Samuel where a prophet was and all of a sudden the hand of God was upon him. He prophesied naked from morning till night. Not because he had been praying and fasting. People have prophetic implications. Everybody walks with the spiritual climate that they carry. I want you to be humble enough to pray and ask God. Some of you is your family. You are crying for an intervention that must step in. I'm going to give you the next, let's use the next five minutes. I truly am going to be interceding for you. I'm not praying for myself. I just want you to pray and agree. Lift your voice and pray. Don't let the devil tell you you are wasting your time. Go ahead and pray. hallelujah listen you are going to pray but many of you i am you're not you're not it's not the zest of prayer let me tell you something they met the disciples of jesus and say why don't these guys fast we are fasting and these guys are eating yet they are getting the results we are not getting and jesus said for as long as the bridegroom is there so there is something the presence of the bridegroom can do there is an advantage you can take. The bridegroom is the one who the marriage feast is for. Are we together now? The covenant of the marriage is with the bridegroom. But because you are supporting through a covenant of alignment, he's saying there are some things that you may not need to do when the bridegroom is not there. In other words, I'm not ignoring that principle. It is what you should have done except for the fact that another presence was introduced that can immune you from it. I needed to share that scripture just to help you. There are some things that ordinarily, that's the way you are supposed to do. But God brings men to your life that you can take advantage of and expedite your journey. Ordinarily, 
the disciples were to fast jesus said i'm not fighting fasting they will fast one day but for now as long as i am here uh -uh. there are people that when you are around i know people that just because you are around them you may never need, read any book on finances i'm telling you sincerely except you just want to add to your knowledge the least the their their greatest state is still higher than your greatest dream their presence if you meet prince charles and prince harry and say i just got you a book on five levels of wealth he will congratulate you for being that courageous to enter the buckingham palace and say walk out of this place do you know why because as long as they are in the palace if they are out of the palace they will do a lot of reading but as long as they are in the palace i teach you mysteries always find out what advantage you have based on who you are connected to not just god alone there are some things you are doing that if you have knowledge you should not be doing you should have others may be doing it if i'm a pastor in living faith today I, there are some things i should not do if i'm a pastor in mfm today and i have problem with my prayer life i think something is wrong there is a grace i should drink from freely if i'm not a pastor in that place i may need to dissipate some energy but when god calls men he calls men with certain possibilities and when you come within that covering that thing should work for you i keep drumming this thing but many people don't get it it's true it's true find out those who are genuinely connected to this anointing there are things they before they even learned the principle the result was already speaking it's true as long as the bridegroom is there you are immune when the bridegroom leaves so you can learn the principle so that you are not just dependent helplessly on the bridegroom but you can take advantage of the presence of the bridegroom you can carry a handkerchief from Benny Hinn and put in your pocket and enter a meeting and be surprised yourself at what is happening simply because you made contact do you not see that God will be wicked to allow you pray for everything no I don't pray for everything in my life there are things that you can get Jacob and Esau those two guys they were not praying for the blessing they were connected to a lineage that had it the father didn't say okay you guys he said just go and make me venison let me release something on you look at this Esau did not receive the blessing yet see the prosperity that came the fact that he came out physically that's why Ishmael today Will the residue of that prophecy must always follow him there are things that should happen in your life my brother my sister there are some things that God has done for you already walking trying to save yourself from sin by your strength is unnecessary it was done by those who the bridegroom did not come for so they use the blood of bulls but now christ has come and that sacrifice that you just receive that's the same way there are other things that has been done he gave gifts to men to ease their journey there are things in life are you ready to pray our time is gone i want you to open your mouth and pray pray unto you that answers prayer shall all flesh come the Bible says he that receives a prophet in the name of a prophet he shall receive a prophet's reward he that receives a righteous man in the name of a righteous man he shall receive a righteous man's reward The Bible says, May the Lord hear thee in the day of trouble. Send thee help from Zion. 
For this cause, many are weak. For this cause, many are sick. For this cause, many do sleep. For this cause, many are weak. For this cause, many are sick. For this cause, many do sleep. Pray believing. Pray believing. When our backs were against the wall And it looked to see if it was over You made a way And we're standing here Only because you made You move mountains You cause walls to fall With your power Perform miracles There is nothing That's impossible And we're standing here Only because you made Three keys very quickly to fruitfulness The first key is to treat fruitfulness as a command Have an understanding that fruitfulness is not an opinion. It's not an opinion that is left to your personal desire. Fruitfulness is a command. Fruitfulness is a command. Genesis 1.28 Fruitfulness is a command. Anything that is not fruitful in your life is causing your life to be disobedient towards the word of God. Anything anything the moment you see your life not producing result in any aspect there is a spirit forcing your life to reflect obedience disobedience fruitfulness is a command barrenness is an attempt to make you violate that command number two the second key to fruitfulness is that obedience to kingdom principles will deliver the desired result it's not enough to have the understanding that is a command there are principles that compel your partnership with the word of god in order to get that result principles scattered through scripture are several principles that are responsible for certain manifestations of god's grace in our lives are we together Praise God. Are we together now? Sorry about that. Obedience to kingdom principles will deliver desired result. Listen, please. Wishing and crying helps you, but it does not help your situation. Are we together now? God is moved by your tears, but he only responds to his word. He is moved by your tears. We do not have a high priest who cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmity. It's called compassion. But for results to happen in your life, you must activate the word. The woman with the issue of blood had been crying, but nothing happened. But she said, if I may but touch the hem of his garment. Obedience to kingdom principles. For instance, when it comes to finances, your tithe, your giving, kingdom investments and the opportunity and the platform to provide value remain the irrefutable key
keys to wealth and abundance. There is no theology around it. Are we together? There is no magical mysticism around it. Obedience to kingdom principles. Now, most of us want miracles of fruitfulness. Listen, we want miracles of fruitfulness in our lives, but we are unwilling to pay that price of alignment. There are people who are not consistent tithers. They have an idea that tithing is, um, is a system. Men of God just corner the money and they enjoy it. I mean, that, that, that is such a deception. See how cheap you gave yourself to Satan. How much is what you are bringing for you to believe that is the reason why a man will compromise on his faith. There are all kinds of theological ideas sponsored by the gate of hell that keep people poor. Are we together? How about trusting and believing God to make you whole? Do you know there are people who do not believe? Listen, listen. There are people who do not believe in some of these testimonies you hear in the church. Maybe not in Koinonia, but in the body of Christ. When they hear something like fibro disappear, they just look and say, oh, we agree. They don't lie. Let's clap. You see, we, we mock ourselves because we have so fraternized with unbelief. It has become our template. You never refuse to agree that the person was not born with the growth. It came from nowhere. You believe that one. That it went back to where it came from. You don't believe it. Are we together? Oh, someone's genotype changed. Or a woman gave birth to triplets and twins. Some of you, where is the woman? Let her come. Let's see. I must see with my own eyes. You see, let me tell you something. Do not over-intellectualize spiritual things. They are far beyond the realm of the intellect. If you learn to believe God with childlike faith and say, Lord, I know this is true. When will you believe? Are we together? Honestly, there are some of us we have never really believed anything truly. You have only been aware that it happened. But that conviction, no. I'm a believer. Oh, I believe God. I believe God. I'm a believer. I'm a believer. Especially for those of us, listen, especially for those of us who, who claim to be a light, we have allowed education to take the place of God. And then we want God to give you a science on how these things will happen. Are we together now? God, you need to show me how this will be this and produce this. And then God says, me? give you that explanation the bible says for us you do not know the way of the wind nor how bones are formed in her that has a child how a seed a little seed from a man becomes the bones of a child that you cannot break with your hand explain that mystery says so you do not know the way of god tonight i want you to believe don't sit down asking will this genotype really change will i really be delivered Will God bless me just like that? I remember one time, people were joining the queue, I think some months ago, just to see me after service. And then um, a particular, I think it was a lady or so, just met me and she was ranting all her problems, what she felt, you know, she felt, look, I need special time. And I just touched, I said, it's done. She said, no, no, you don't understand. I'm trying to, I said, it's done. What are all these long stories you are? It's done. I touched you, I said, it's done. Now, I know what her problem will be. Even if his pain is not on her head, you just touch me and say it's done. That's how it works. It works at the speed of faith. The woman with the issue of blood did not touch the hands of Jesus. She touched the hem. Frankly, any part she touched would have produced the same result. It was never about what she touched. Are we together now? We have seen all kinds of testimonies just with one word. Just with one supernatural word. My neighbor then, I think she's somewhere here. 
she shared her testimony here you've heard the testimony of the miracle that God did supernatural miracle all kinds of devilish thing and they said all kinds of things were you know growing and all of that in her stomach it came out it passed out like a woman gives birth to a child that's how it came oh come on see this God eh miracle worker you are the miracle worker would you come and do a miracle a miracle today One of the strategies of Satan in this season is to plant nonsense in the bodies of ladies. Very healthy lady, eating well. The moment she's about to marry, they will tell you something is wrong. Ovarian cyst, fibroid somewhere, or they will say the womb has disappeared. Are we together? Fashions of stories, sincerely communicated by well-meaning doctors, but that's a manipulation somewhere. Are we together now? To an extent, some of you ladies now are looking at me. You are even afraid. You are not even sure. You see all kinds of people. Even if you are prophesying about finances, they are laying hands on their womb and say, Lord, my own is not money. Just make sure that I give birth. When has a good thing become a thing of fear? Are we together now? And then the, the one that surprises me is the concept of impotency where they say a man no 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 that concept is a mirage plus plus you better disbelieve it gentlemen listen gentlemen listen to me don't ever don't ever i say it again allow anything to convince you that there is such a possibility like that it is it is it is an advanced form of witchcraft in the life of any man Are we together now? Don't think I'm just talking. I know what I'm saying. What you tolerate, you will never change. What you give flimsy excuses for you, it will never leave you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Tonight, I want you to challenge yourself and tell yourself, I must have testimonies fruitfulness is a command number two obedience to the principles of the kingdom is required to deliver your desired result the last point i'll give us and then we'll pray is that in many cases warfare slash deliverance may be required to receive your testimony now you better believe this in many cases obadiah 117 in many cases warfare slash deliverance may be required to receive your testimony that's not because you are a witch that's not because you are a wizard away with that imbalanced communication to think that the moment devils are casted out of lives and people it means that they are possessed no not at all not at all not at all and away with that wrong understanding a believer cannot be possessed but a believer can be greatly influenced your faculties can come under siege siege that will look like you are possessed of devils make sure that the construction of your belief is based on the word of God so that you don't shortchange yourself of certain possibilities Look at me. There are many of us here seated looking at me. There are spirits sitting comfortably upon our lives and destinies. Every time things are not going well in your life and you do the best you can to keep certain kingdom principles, then I want you to know that you are not alone in that system. There is a stranger attempting to add to the equation something you did not add. If you keep quiet, that's how your life will go. warfare deliverance contending with the powers that be satan will not let you go just because god said to it takes force a popular scripture that has become our anthem in this place psalm 66 verse 3 
how terrible art thou in your ways he said through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves not through the greatness of your discussion it takes power don't see listen you are you are coming from a family with transgenerational witchcraft i know you are in christ but listen satan does not care all that grammar is none of his business it, you have to prove you are in christ by taking advantage of the power that came through christ to put him where he belongs he says satan he said god had put all things under his feet speaking of man he said but as it is now we do not yet see all things under his feet faith is not foolishness you must summon the courage to confront things that have refused to go oh in the name of jesus christ i'm born again up this and that and that but you are seeing all of you you are seeing patterns that reflect a healthy living of wicked spirits jesus did not hide the fact that we are influenced perpetually by all kinds of spirits in our world who attempt to compromise on our testimony it was god's servant bishop oyedeko that shared how that when the ministry started great ministry now touching people across africa and the world but then when they started people would not just come pastor for whatever reason a very anointed man signs and wonders epochal revelations but people would not come and one time they were praying engaging in warfare intense warfare in the place of prayer and the holy spirit asked him to come out and he came out and then after he had moved a distance the holy spirit told him turn and face you know look at the building and all of that and then he saw a thick layer covering it and this was what the lord told him he said this is the stronghold that makes people to misrepresent your ministry everything you do they see it in a bad light and he commanded it to go and it left and all of a sudden there was there was explosion kenneth e hagin teaching on his encounter with jesus his book about his encounter with jesus he gave a very dramatic scenario that happened between him and jesus he said at a point when the lord jesus christ appeared to him jesus was talking to him and was giving him some instructions all of a sudden a devil like an imp a short devil just appeared in between them and was jumping up and down you know distracting kenneth hagin kenneth hagin said he thought jesus christ being there would stop that spirit from coming yet the spirit was there jumping up and down and jesus kept talking he seemed unaffected by whatever the demon was doing but kenneth hagin was affected and jesus kept speaking kenneth hagin said it worried him for a long time until he got angry in his spirit and the holy spirit gave him a strategy and he commanded that spirit he said in the name of jesus i rebuke you and he felt and, and left and this was what jesus told him according to kenneth hagin he said if you did not do anything about it i would not have done anything all that it is to be done i have done how can i is nonsense the day you get up you the best way to predict your future is to create it create it create it don't sit down waiting for it to come create it listen i don't believe in circumstances i create any circumstance i want i create it the bible tells us that the word is framed 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 your world your environment your reality is framed by the word of god obadiah 117 it says and upon mount zion there shall be deliverance and holiness then it says the sons of jacob shall possess their possessions standing between the sons of jacob and their possessions are gates forces fraternities covenants of darkness that attempt to sabotage the liberty of god's people and then he says that there shall be deliverance deliverance is not falling down necessarily it's not just manifesting and coughing out things no the context of deliverance is a platform that creates a separation on a legal basis between you and any force that keeps you bound are we together 
There are things that have held our lives, brothers and sisters. And it must let us go. You must believe this. Don't sit down. I'm, I'm telling you this thing so you don't sit down and waste your time. I came with my spirit angry. We're going to deal with the issue of the fruit of the womb extensively. But then I want you to know the reason why the door has not opened is because there is a spirit sitting somewhere. And I tell you, if you let those spirits, they will wreck your life. Wreck your life. There are pastors whose churches have refused to grow. And they think they preach well. They are anointed people. They are great people. But there are all kinds of forces. Brothers and sisters, wickedness is real. The Bible tells you the whole world lies in wickedness. Don't say I didn't do anything to anybody. The condition to be vulnerable to oppression is that you are born. Once you arrive here, that's all. You, you are in the middle of a story that predates your existence. So as you come, you just join in the whole thing. Don't you think you have to come up with a fresh trouble? No, it is there before you arrived. Have you not seen children hated for something their parents did before they got married? And they look at you and while they are insulting the man, they say, who is this? You say, my name is David. Who's, you are his child. You are the idiot like him. You just inherited an insult. Just because you were associated with a man while they were making that trouble, you were in the loins of eternity. And now you came and participated. Tonight, I want you to believe God. I want you to believe God. Brothers and sisters, there's enough grace and unction for you to receive the miracle. I believe in breakthrough. Breakthrough is a mystery that gives men speed. Where limits are taken. Kabbalataya. Limits are taken. Limits are taken. Limits are taken. Limits are taken. I don't know what has held you down. You must break this limit. Don't sit carelessly looking. Some of you have some results. We all have different results, but is that the best? God can fast track your life. That between now and December 31st, he will put a new song in your mouth. A song of praise in your heart. He said many will see and fear and put their trust in him. Hallelujah. And time will fail me to speak of Gideon and Jephthah and Barak. Men who through faith subdued kingdoms, wrought the mouth of, of lions, shut the mouth of lions, wrought righteousness. Let's look at one scripture. Romans 4, 18. I just want to touch a little on this issue of believing and faith. We just finished a series on faith. Please, I encourage everyone as God grants you grace, make sure you get those series and listen to them. But I just want to challenge our faith a little, even as we prepare to pray. There's such a strong anointing in this place tonight. Jesus. Hallelujah. Such a strong anointing. I'm hearing footsteps. That's what I'm hearing in my spirit. Footsteps. And the Holy Spirit is telling me he's the one walking to people's lives. I'm hearing footsteps. No, 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 no. I, I believe me. Just, just, just believe me. Just walk with me. I'm hearing footsteps right now. God will not let me continue. He's walking to someone's life right now. Right now. I'm hearing footsteps in the spirit. I'm still hearing footsteps. And the Holy Spirit is telling me this is his footsteps. He's walking to someone's life. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus. I don't know where those people are. But right now their stories must change. Must change. God is not even waiting for me to finish preaching. Something is happening here. Hmm. A change of story. Something must change. Something must change. Something must change. Something must change. Something is happening right now. How forcible are right words. Footsteps. I still hear these footsteps. I still hear these footsteps in my ears. And God is saying he's giving people testimonies. It's like the spirit of God walking. Walking. He will meet you where you are. 
he will meet you where you are sit down sit down let's finish up romans 4 verse 18 just sit down the waters has been stirred i just want to give you an understanding on faith you have a role to play listen please you have a role don't worry about what is happening you have a role to play please hear me you have a role to play you have a role to play you're not going to sit down and just expect to be healed you have a role to be to play lift your hands gentlemen you raising your hand i see an angel pouring oil on your head that's what i'm seeing right now something looking like oil that's what i see i don't even know you but in the name of jesus christ receive that anointing right now <sighs> my spirit is fired up i feel this thing on me now I feel this thing on me now i feel this anointing on me now i feel this thing on me now shake it's the anointing that comes to the office i feel it on me right now a lady with a breast lump a lady with a breast lump has just been healed right now check yourself check yourself a lady with a breast lump the left side of your breast 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 the power of god is touching you right now the power of god is touching you right now the power of god is touching you right now the power of god is touching you right now the bible says who against hope against hope have taught us against hope means in spite of the obstacles believed who against hope i told you the starting point of faith is the presence of an obstacle it is not unusual to see obstacles there is a system to take care of them that system is based on your conviction backed up by understanding that compels you to take action the name of that action is faith not the name of the believing believing is not faith believing is restful confidence based on an understanding the end product of believing is conviction when you act it the name given to that action is faith listen you can hear the most anointed word if you do not mix it with faith be convicted that this is the word of God and then be ready to take steps so if you are here and you cannot stand be ready to stand don't just sit down saying well let's see what will happen you will go back home on that wheelchair you are deaf you are blind whatever it is genotype whatever make sure you are angering your spirit a door has refused to open make sure that you receive there are many faith actions praise and celebrating God is an action that's how you water whatever you sow listen Jesus said and I've corrected it here I've taught us he said if you have faith as a monster seed I've told you it's not the size if you have faith and your faith works like a monster seed a monster seed is sown that means if you can plant your faith and create an environment for it to grow in the similitude of a monster seed then you can say to this mountain he was not talking about the size of faith if you have faith and you have understood how to make it operate like a monster seed then you will do great things are we together tonight i want you to refuse that any force of darkness holding your destiny will go back with you i want you to refuse listen listen there is grace for increase i feel it in this place i just want you to believe me you know sometimes it's difficult communicating things to people because some we live in an environment of such unbelief i know the grace for increase listen increase is an unction honor is a mantle it can come upon a man you can carry it bodily 
don't sit down and just waste your time you may not be sick in your body but there is an encounter that produces a possibility upon your life listen i told you creation has never been disobedient something on you or not on you is what compels the response of creation an anointing is like a mantle it works like a charm when it is upon your life that anointing speaks is a language it will make creation respond to you in a certain way that's what you call favor that's what you call breakthrough don't sit down asking can i get a job that's a very foolish question very foolish question don't sit down asking can god make a way in the wilderness my god my god my god ah Don't sit down asking, can I get the child? No. What you should be asking is, can I get the twins or triplets? Not, can I get the child? Are we together? You are here tonight because you are trusting God to do something in your life. Face the business that brought you and be serious. Don't sit down laughing at others, criticizing others. Others will be taking radical steps of faith. Don't sit down there being cynical, laughing at them no connect and open up your spirit man of god open up for your ministry there can be more there can be more there can be more the pressure of ministry will kill you if you continue going the way you are going there is a system that builds you out even favor let me tell you this favor that we think is very free there are laws there is an unction that brings favor it is a manifestation of favor that is effortless but there is a system an exact system a science to its coming into your life hallelujah don't sit here and allow the over 40,000 or so people following online who are receiving and getting blessed and their lives are changing and you are here seated and you are wondering can God change me are you not seeing don't you see his signature all over listen there are three platforms for us to receive in the kingdom i'm rounding up now there are three platforms for reception i've taught this but let me just touch it quickly the first platform for reception is an encounter with the presence of god when you meet god the presence of god alone listen will leave certain deposits it's like an intercourse between a man and his wife there is a transfer so when you meet god there is a deposit listen the second platform for reception is through your understanding and your application of the principles of the kingdom there are dimensions of the power of god that has been vested in laws you don't have to pray the moment the laws are accurately um, operated the power is released immediately you don't have to be a christian but the third dimension listen the third dimension of reception is by tapping into the covenant a man has with God. Listen. Men enter covenants with God that represents platforms for certain possibilities to find expression. Either through their personal press or through the office they represent and the possibilities it brings. Listen to me. You will never touch prosperity ignoring Abraham. Abraham entered a covenant with God that became the platform to see that dimension of God work in your life. There are men today who have covenants with God. Answers to prayer is not just by their personal faith. Their altar is a mystery and others can tap into that mystery through honor and receive results that are above and beyond your current level of believing God. When, when Saul came where Samuel was, just that atmosphere implicated him. He prophesied. All kinds of things happened to him. You need to understand that territories, human beings represent systems in the kingdom. And not there are certain audacious statements that when God makes, he's not just waiting for your personal faith. He creates the platform for receiving those miracles upon a covenant. Are we together now? God entered a covenant with Abraham. Is that true? And then 
Abraham slept with Hagar and then had Ishmael. Is that true? They were at the wilderness crying. Two of them were crying. God only had the cry of Ishmael. Why? Because Ishmael was Abraham as far as the covenant was concerned. So God could not listen to Hagar, but he had the voice of the Lord crying. And because of that, he came. Let me tell you, this ministry you see, like cobwebs, is an encapsulation of mysteries and covenants. Mysteries and covenants. Agreements with God that become the platform for certain possibilities to happen. I want you to leverage on those advantages and cheaply tap into certain things tonight. You are not alone. There is grace for you. Rise up on your feet. You are mighty in this place. You are mighty in this place. You are mighty in this place. Faithful God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are mighty in this place. You are mighty in this place. Say You are mighty in this place. Faithful God. Hallelujah. Before we begin to minister i want you to lift your voice and tell god everything you desire for him to do don't keep quiet don't say god knows open your mouth lord step into my finances lord step into my business lord step into my family faithful god hallelujah Lord, take away the barrier that is stopping my doors from opening. Take away the barrier, oh God, stopping my influence. Enlarge my course. prayers Lord I must take my testimony tonight I'm tired of this fibroid it dies this night this night it must go this night not tomorrow Lord favor must land upon my life I'm tired of struggling Favor must come upon my life. Those online, make sure you are praying. The anointing of the Spirit will reach you where you are.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is starting tonight with an impartation. Don't bring them out. I am seeing the Lord speaking to me and he's saying there is an unction for divine strategies and it's coming on 21 people. 21 people. I stretch my hands right now. I stretch my hands right now. Receive that impartation. 21 people. Divine strategies. The wisdom of God. Receive it. That idea, Kato Sotoya, divine idea. Someone has been praying, Lord, show me the way. Here it comes. The anointing brings it. Help them, please. The anointing brings it upon your life. 21 people. The Lord shows me. 21 people. An impartation. Supernatural strategies. <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 I'm going to begin to minister now. But the Lord, the Lord is speaking to me. Listen. Listen, the Lord is speaking to me and this is a mystery. God wants to use two people for a prophetic word. Two people, listen, two people for a prophetic word. Two people. Play mic. Something supernatural is happening. Ah. The Lord is taking me in the spirit. And I'm seeing a map. Get ready please. I'm seeing a map in the spirit of Nigeria. And I'm landing in Kaduna state. I see an anointing touching Kaduna people now. Right now, right now, right now, by the Spirit of God, Kaduna State, Kaduna State. I see an anointing, only Kaduna State. Shabarapakata, Embreketeta, Kaduna State. A miracle happening for Kaduna people. Southern Kaduna, Southern Kaduna, 
there is an anointing there is an anointing god is bringing breakthrough and deliverance breakthrough and deliverance breakthrough and deliverance breakthrough hallelujah i don't know why god does this brothers and sisters don't ask me don't ask me this is an operation it's called the ministry of signs and wonders now i see benway state benway state i see an anointing on benway state now an anointing on benway state benway state shakatoda parata reketekete help them please benway state you can't stand it you don't have to know whether you don't know your state benway state miracles miracles go into benway state i hear or to call in the spirit a miracle happening right there right there all those connected to that bloodline there is a miracle for you right now don't trivialize what is happening here brothers and sisters these are territorial breakthroughs territorial breakthroughs hallelujah 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 i'll pray for stephanie 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 i'm hearing a name stephanie please let's save time who is stephanie you're like a red dress or something like that stephanie who is that stephanie there is a stephanie i'm seeing i will pray for you but i'm seeing someone and in the vision the lord is showing me it's like a red dress but i'll pray for you lift your hands the lord says i should tell you witchcraft ends in your family witchcraft ends in your family you will hear testimonies that will surprise you right now i stretch my hands towards you now it ends by the power of the holy ghost in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus johanna 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 i'm hearing a name johanna please save our time johanna i don't know who that person is johanna i won't continue speaking like this because we have to be fast johanna 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 whether you're here inside or outside johanna 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 there is a lady following us from lagos your name is blessing your name is blessing you are in a room you are following from a laptop the lord is saying i should tell you he's bringing an end to the captivity of your family in the name of the lord jesus christ he's bringing an end to the captivity of your family he's bringing an end to the captivity of your family hallelujah now lift your hands i want to pray i tell you i feel fire in this place it's time to command deliverance it's time to command deliverance upon the forces of darkness that have tied our lives forces of darkness the lord is bringing deliverance to your family your family the lord is bringing deliverance i'm seeing a plot of witchcraft over his family and the lord is bringing deliverance right now right now to the family right now to the family the lord is bringing a major deliverance to the family a major deliverance to the family hallelujah listen listen as i begin to pray for you all those devils that has tied the lives of people it doesn't mean you are possessed it's not an insult you may not even know you may be minding yourself just like you're standing now i'm going to command those devils they must go they are not only going to live your life they must live your family are we together listen some of you brought many prayer lists just one spirit living will produce all that testimony believe me believe me lift your hands my heart my soul i give to you i bow to you my savior and king lift your hands thank you jesus father thank you for your anointing to deliver to set free there are spirits in this place sitting on the lives and the destinies of people 
and in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ they must go I want you to bring them out now they must go they must go now at the count of three I want you to shout the name Jesus you'll be surprised to see what happens Kai 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 I see spirits of delay 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 spirits that have held men down all kinds of spirits father in the name of Jesus at the count of three Lord as your people shout may this shout reverberate in the realm of the spirit and may it bring breakthrough 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 flowing sound my flowing sound in the name of Jesus one two three shout Jesus now I command those demons go now go now go now Kato Sotoba lift your voice and begin to command every spirit every devil help them please go now I command every spirit of witchcraft that has tied the lives and the destinies of people you must go now inside and outside I command you inside and outside bring them out I command you by the power of the Holy Ghost lift your voice I command you you must go now now by the anointing of the spirit release their destinies release their destinies release their breakthrough lift your hands while you pray I'm seeing gates and I'm seeing chains on them and the Lord is saying to unlock those chains unlock those chains that anointing will come on certain people right now father I decree and declare in the name of Jesus wherever they are any place in your life that has been chained and tied right now in Jesus name I command those gates be open be open, be open, be open, be open by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Chains, chains, be broken. Ushers, please. Chains, be broken in the name of Jesus. Chains, be broken. Be broken. Kalapatoshaya. Release their destinies outside. The Holy Ghost is touching people outside. I see a wind of fire touching people by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Every enchantment, every enchantment, every witchcraft against the lives of people, against destinies, you must go now. Mr. Man, lift your hands. This man, lift your hands. The Lord is saying, I should tell you that your breakthrough begins this night. Right now, receive that anointing. Receive that anointing right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Bring them out. I'm hearing the name Charity. Charity, we have to be very fast because I want to focus on barren people right now. Charity, charity. 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 I'm hearing the name Charity. Charity. The Lord wants to bring breakthrough for Charity. The second overflow. There are two people God is touching there. The second overflow. I see the anointing coming on two people. The overflow, the roadside. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, listen. Something is going to happen here. Now, ushers, I want you to be sensitive. I'm going to pray for certain people. You will have to help them. The grace for speed, listen, is going to come on some people. Physically, they will find themselves trying to run, help them. So that it's not like they won't be able to control themselves. It's a prophetic act by the spirit so that they don't enjoy anybody lord in the name of jesus guys be sensitive please in the name help them please it's already happening that's the instruction god is giving me 
an anointing will come on you physically you will begin to demonstrate your breakthrough right now lord i release that anointing give men speed give men speed give men speed 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 by the power of the holy ghost give men speed run like elijah help them run like elijah help her help her run like elijah run like elijah grace for speed i release it i release it from my spirit i release it grace for speed no more stagnation no more retrogression run with the grace of elijah overtake the chariots of ahas hallelujah charity charity are you married the lord wants to give you two miracles huh number one god wants to settle you maritally do you believe that yes sir huh yes sir second what are you doing i just finished school i'm a graduate now huh i'm a graduate now you are a graduate yes, I'm looking at you and I'm seeing Abuja. Huh? Yes, sir. Abuja? Yes. What is Abuja? I have a fiancé. Uh, you have somebody there? Yes, sir. That's the person to marry you. Okay, Did you sir. tell me? No, sir. Did you tell me? No. That's what I'm telling you. I'm looking at you. I said God will settle you. Amen. Maritally. Amen. Huh? And then God will give you a job. Amen. Supernatural job. Amen. Because it's your desire. Amen. God will give you a job. Amen. The Lord is saying, I should prophesy to you. I'm opening a new chapter over your life. The past. Uh -uh, your future has to change. It, the, what the past is, is not a good testimony. And the Lord is saying, I'm giving you a new chapter. A new chapter. Come, my dear, in the name of Jesus. God is giving you a job. May he connect you maritally. Huh? Is your name Charity? Is your name Charity? In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you. Delay ends now. Delay ends now. I pray for your auntie. Let there be a miracle. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'll minister to one more case before I pray. I want to pray specifically for barren people. I'm going to pray that before we do a lot of other things. Before we call the sick out. Thank God there are many hands today. And so we're able to do a very quick walk. Ladies, when I count three, just shout, I receive. Don't worry. Follow me and do my stupid thing. Are you ready now? One, two, three. <laughs> There is an opening. There is an opening in the realm of the spirit. There is an opening in the realm of the spirit. Many people are entering it. I see it. It's a door breakthrough. There is an opening in the realm of the spirit. There is an opening in the realm of the spirit. Shalom. Jehovah Shalom. Shalom, the mighty in this place. Shalom, 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 you welcome in this place. I tell you, if, if God would open your eyes to see the breakthroughs that I see Heaven. being released to people in the realm of the Scriptures spirit. Exalt us from the doors, book of strange Proverbs. doors. I, I told you there is son. grace for increase. There is grace son. for increase. Increase. There is grace for increase. The language tonight is more. Let them more, not depart more, from thy more, eyes. more. There is more, more anointing, more grace, more unction, more wisdom. There is more. 
we believe there is more in the name of jesus hallelujah please drop your hands if you the lord is leading me to pray for brothers lift your hands you'll be surprised to see what will happen to you now in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your the lord wants to release grace for establishment listen and as you have there is such an anointing don't be foolish receive it receive it with all your spirit there is a spirit especially in this side of the north subscribe to this men get established very late very late content that is going to very late you make money late that is you build a house late and don't it's a bad spirit god wants to release something those online you can follow i want to pray i see this thing falling on many men jesus it is your word you have released this word i put authority upon this prophecy and i declare let it enter like an arrow into the life of men right now take it receive that grace right now receive it in the name of jesus at the count of three one two three take it now take it now help them grace grace strange establishment doors opening doors opening in their own accord help them doors opening i put you in a platform spiritually where you experience speed and establishment in the name of jesus help them please so they don't enjoy themselves my god be established be established be established be established i lose your hands i untie your hands every brother here i untie your hands be established by the spirit be established by the spirit go and buy that land by the spirit go and build that house by the spirit i open strange doors don't say you are too young is an anointing it's not your effort receive it in the name of jesus christ hallelujah now leave those who are standing here very quickly if you are here specifically please listen you are here specifically trusting god to stamp the feet of satan in your family over the issue of children you know god announced beginning of october that the theme for this miracle service you've had the testimonies please don't say they have prayed for me before don't allow that unbelief destroy you are we together while you are coming there is a lady who will shout under the anointing it is the grace that will release this grace for fruitfulness it's a loud shout it will be loud enough for everyone to hear by the spirit in the name of jesus christ lord we give you praise that's the shout there that's the shout by the spirit there is an anointing to pray for the barren come please all those whether man woman if you are married look don't come out here if you are not married why are they here why are they all here you must be married except if you are standing in for someone don't stand here doubting there is an anointing i see a river some of you as you are standing right now the power of god will come on you just before i even start praying Look at this. Will you open up the gate? Open up the door. Will you open up the gate? Voice in one minute and sing it from your heart. Will you open up the gate? The gate. Open up the door. Open up the gate. The gate. Listen. I will to pray for you by myself that's the instruction i will do it very fast you don't have to tell me any stories i don't care what they said low spam count um infertility i don't care the report as you receive that touch if you are standing for someone call them 
let them know you are praying for them are we together now don't just say i receive and then you stand there let the people know what god is doing i'll have to do this very fast after that we'll pray for the sick generally we have a lot to do don't lose touch of this don't come for koinonia and then sit down this is not a museum let your heart be connected because there are different things happening in the realm of the spirit i'm going to be very fast i'm seeing listen i'm seeing something like a bird is jumping out of a lady now one person here i don't know who that person is but the lord is asking that until that happens like a bird that's what i'm seeing father in the name of jesus who is that person let there be that miracle right now it's like something will just leave you just leave you just leave you and release you and release you by the power of the holy spirit now as i pray for you many of you strange things will happen some of you are standing for other people but as i pray for you god is securing something in your life you don't have to come out please if you do not belong to this category that's the lady i'm talking about now i'll pray quickly just give us um uh, uh, keys just play something very quickly father in the name of jesus let everyone here return with a miracle child No matter what the spirit is, no matter what the issue is, fibroid, infertility, low sperm count, whatever, I don't care what the name is, it must live right now. In the name of Jesus, please shift very quickly. As I lay my hands on you, it is done. Receive that grace. Receive that grace. Receive that grace. Now, go and carry your miracle child. Madam, carry your miracle baby. Carry it now. Carry it now. My God, I tell you, I see babies literally in the realm of the spirit. Carry it now. Carry it now. Carry it right now. Carry it right now. Miracle. 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 There is an unusual grace here. There is an unusual grace. Unusual grace. Unusual grace. Unusual grace. As I lay my hands on you, it is done. It is done. It is done. It is done. Heal now. Open up the gates in the name of Jesus. Grace, grace, grace. Shabalaba. Rekete. Shabalaba. Grace, grace, grace. Help them, please. Let's save time. Grace, receive your miracle, baby. My God, my God, testimonies, wombs opening, fertility be restored. Receive it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Take it, take it, take it, take it in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, 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 return with the miracle child, 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 no barrenness, out, out now. Release her now, now, out, out of her. Return with your child. Miracles, 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 miracles. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing twins in the realm of the spirit. The Lord is showing me twins. Somebody is carrying twins. Out. Let her go now. I command that spirit. Release her in the name of Jesus. Release her right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Let it be open. In the name of Jesus. Grace. 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 Grace, grace. 
The Lord is healing irregular menstruation. Irregular menstruation for one woman is being healed right now so that you can carry your baby. Receive your child out, out of her. Now, 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 by the power of the Holy Ghost, let her go now. Keep praying in the spirit, don't just watch miracles, miracles. anointing you. Receive that anointing now. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Grace, grace, grace. Grace for you. Grace for you. Grace for you. Grace for you. Grace, 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 grace. Open. Open now. Open now. I see a womb that is closed. Open now. Shaka baradoka toka I'm seeing a woman who is pregnant. You have been having nightmares. Somebody comes to you in the night. You have you even wake up shouting. You've not been able to sleep. There is a pregnant woman here with that situation. God wants to set you free. Please, where are you? If you care for you, can come and God will set you free right now. You are pregnant, but I'm seeing you having very bad dreams. Like a nightmare. Madam, look at me. You are standing for yourself, for someone. Ah, hallelujah. Kai, I'm seeing something that is not nice. I need to pray for a lady here. Don't be embarrassed. Don't be embarrassed. I don't know if you have the courage. If you have the courage, I can pray for you. Please don't be embarrassed. This is a family. Something like a living thing. It almost looks like a physical living thing, like a worm or like a snake. Literally comes out of your private part. It comes out and goes back. This is like a, a living a real object please who is that i have to pray for you like i said if you have the courage there's nothing to be ashamed what who is this one why is she here coughing out no 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 don't bring her in jesus name you're okay come in jesus name it is done the lord sets you free by the power of the holy spirit i need to pray for that lady honestly this is a serious thing in fact it's not just one i'm seeing two of you come and stand here something it looks like a worm but it's bigger than it you see it it comes out and goes back on its own who is that you're the one god bless you for your courage can you celebrate her don't be afraid see look let me tell you this is this is like a spiritual hospital so this is not a place immediately i saw it even me i honestly i my body was doing me one kind but i thought you have to say it. this is bad it's like a doctor madam kai and you love god oh. don't be afraid huh 
do you know this thing where are you from because I'm looking at you you are supposed to be a very great woman I look at you and I see somebody ah, this is strange I'm seeing let me show you what I'm seeing I'm looking at this and I'm seeing witchcraft from Delta State I'm seeing you but I'm seeing a white woman I'm seeing a white woman but I'm seeing you and the Lord is telling me that you speak like a white woman. That's the vision that I'm saying. Say Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. I didn't know that. Look at me. My dear, look at me. Because I'm seeing this. You look far, far, far older than your age. Somebody even see you and say, Mommy, there's no mommy anything. You need prayers because you too, are you married? You are trusting God for a life partner. It's even why you came here. Look at this. The devil is a liar. See, I prophesy to you in the name of Jesus Christ. The spirit of the waster that will want your life to keep going without achievement. I'm praying for you now. May that devil live your life forever in the name of Jesus. The spirit of a waster lives your life forever in the name of Jesus. I use her as a point of contact. This is a nice woman. She didn't bargain for this. And she loves God. Are you seeing that now? Who knows? Probably were trained by white men. She speaks very intelligently. But everything grounded. Hold my hand, man. To a point that, that, do you know what it means? Another object, did you plant an object in your body? Comes out through you at will? Goes back at will? For those of you who think witchcraft is not real, you are joking. You are watching one right now. Not pile, oh. I'm not talking of pile. Hold my hands, man. I'm angry in my spirit. In the name of the Lord God that I serve, I speak to you from the depth of my spirit. Right now, I command that devil, let her go now. Out! Out! In the name of Jesus, I lay my hands on your stomach. I command that wicked spirit, whatever your name is, don't only leave her, pack your load with you and go out of this woman's life. I restore you even physiologically. In the name of Jesus Christ, this old face is not your own. You are not that old. I change it in the name of Jesus Christ. Help her. Give Jesus praise. Father, thank you. Supernatural miracle. Supernatural miracle. Supernatural miracle. Supernatural miracle. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hold my hands. It's over. Over in the name of Jesus. Over in the name of Jesus. It's over in the name of Jesus. There's one mama here. The anointing of the spirit is going to come upon you for praying for barren people. There's one mama here I'm seeing in a vision. The power of God will land on you. You, you may not even be expecting it. Not everybody. This, this is an, like an elderly woman. But I'm seeing an anointing. Right now, wherever you are, Father, something will land. It's like fire. It will land on one mama now. Supernatural grace. You will start laying hands on the sick. Oh, that's the woman there. Help her. Help her, please. Bring her here. Supernatural anointing. Supernatural anointing for the for barrenness. Look at this. Look at this. This is an elderly woman, for God's sake. Shera tabaroto koto baradia. Lembra bata tatsoketia. Ekarata katala totia. Father, take her to that level. I stand upon this apostolic and prophetic grace and I bring you to that realm. Release miracles to women in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, please help her. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Supernatural. Supernatural. Daddy. Why is he here? Why is our daddy here? Who brought him out? You came on your own, sir? For barrenness? You? Where is your wife, sir? He's here, but I can't locate her. Madam, come. 
you will see a man like hold my hand sir you will see a man like this and think he has a child you have a child you are trusting god for the fruit of the womb yes. how old are you sir don't be embarrassed you are 57 you will still have your child where is your wife wife is she here? Is the wife here? She's not here. You are not sure. She's around here. You are sure she's around? Yes. Madam, if you're around, please, I want to pray for you and your husband. Otherwise, um, we can just pray and continue, please, so that we don't waste time. In the name of Jesus Christ, supernatural grace. Supernatural grace. You can imagine the kind of oppression. Supernatural grace. Supernatural grace. Supernatural grace. Your wife is not here. She's not coming out. Or is she under the anointing? Huh? Whose name? Maybe she doesn't want to come out. I hope she's not. She's here. What's her name, sir? Esther. Esther Atuluku. Please, you have had your name, madam. That's your husband calling you. Can you rush, please, so that we save time? Is she here? Is she outside? Otherwise, I'll just pray for him, please, so that we'll save time. There's a lot to do. Daddy, how long have you been married, sir? 32 years. 32 years. If you ever tell me wickedness is not real, if you ever tell me wickedness is not real, our daddy's children would have been married now with their own children. Ejime, am I correct? Look at this. Abraham waited 25 years. Our daddy has waited 32 years. Sir, you came here by faith. You are our father here. And you did not feel embarrassed to come out and stand here. Look at me, sir. I want you to look at my eyes so that you will know that I'm the one that has told you. In the name of Jesus, I don't care whether your wife has passed menopause or not. I don't care whether she can give birth or not. I decree to you, in the name of Jesus Christ, hold my hand, sir. You will not have a child. You will have children. Listen, sir. I'm not saying God told me to tell you. I am telling you. There is something called a prophet's reward. In the name that is above all names, I speak over your life. That force of darkness that has vowed that you will not have continuity. I cancel it right now. Yeah. Sir, you are struggling financially. I have to pray for you. God wants to open a door for you. I, I hope you are not embarrassed sir, that I am talking to you. Please hold my hands. Jesus, please change our daddy's story. Yeah. Let 32 years of barrenness come to an end now. Yeah. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Now, please, we are going to be very fast. You are here for yourself. You are not married. You are standing for something. In the name of Jesus Christ. Supernatural miracle. Now, we are going to be very fast. You can see it's past nine, but there are so many things we need to do. We are going to do two things at the same time. All those who are here trusting God for any miracle, any miracle aside from barrenness, except if you have another thing, I don't care what it is, Please, you are going to come. There are men of God here who are going to lay hands on you very quickly. It's a miracle service. Now, look at this. I want you to organize yourself. Uh, those outside, hold on, please. Hold on. Overflow 2. Just walk right to the front. You don't have to come here. Overflow 2. The whole of those occupying the roadside, just walk right to the front of your, your stage there. Overflow 1 here. Just walk right to the front here. All those who are here, you can just come out. Come out, organize yourself. You are sick? Or you are standing in for people? Jesus. Listen. If you are standing here for impartation, go back, please. Please, please, don't make a fool of yourself. We are going to pray for I know some of you just want me to touch you. There's nothing wrong with you. Don't play games with God. Go back to your seat. You will receive impartation. Some of you, there's nothing wrong. You just want in case if there's something, I should still pray. Go back. Please, we don't have that time. Are we together now? I'm not joking. Please, there is no time. Huh? So, those outside, 
just obey instructions please some of you think i have to be the one to touch you that's unbelief i i spent time talking about faith here just walk outside stand there overflow look at how many people pastor for god's sake look at this look at how many people huh? almost everybody look at standing for somebody the devil wants to destroy people have you noticed that in the last one month there's been an outbreak of mysterious sicknesses someone who just get up in the morning and you cannot breathe again that devil is a liar in the name of jesus and i also understand they've been mysterious accidents you are minding your business car will jam you bike will jam you we are going to take care of all those things today it's called a miracle service now this is what will happen please and please anybody who lays hands on you just go back to your seat believing in faith we don't have time to take testimonies i know there are so many miracles if we do that we're going to spend time here there are other things we need to do are we together now so i will pray for you you can see there are so many people uh let's do it this way pastor pete is with me here so um pastor pete ah no edgy you know what edgy pastor femi you can go outside you can just handle that that one there pastor alpha pastor alpha kenny and um mike please you handle that one benga you will join here me him and pastor Ejimi, and you and who you and pastor femi yes we are not just i don't think just because you are a pastor don't look at me i'm walking by the spirit i don't have to call you we are not playing games this is not about ministry there is grace are we together pastor alpha please outside kenny mike promise west promise join a jimmy promise femi and and pastor jimmy outside please just guide them protocol the, so that don't relay anybody please behave yourself don't disturb anybody i'm here with pastor pete benga we're going to pray in the name that is above all names shout amen, amen. father was standing in unity from three different points you have anointed this ministry to be a supernatural ministry and bring healing and miracles to your people lord every man of god represented here as we lay hands on your people it doesn't matter what the situation is let there be healing let there be deliverance in the name of jesus christ as we minister to you any spirit that is at work in your life must be casted out in the name of jesus christ please guys we have to be very fast so that we'll save time pastor sir thank you so much worship help us please we'll be very fast now all those sitting and around those online just connect by faith there's nobody touching you physically but the holy ghost is there he's representing us and he will touch you while that is happening concurrently please your miracle um uh your prayer request pass it ushers if you can connect yourself i know that there are not many of you protocol you can help them please pass your prayer request if someone sent a text to you now you can copy it quickly please pass your prayer request while laying hands on you if they give you a prophetic word receive it please guys don't waste time on one person let's just do it fast jesus will give you praise i have no other god but you now i have no as they pray for you just quietly go back to your seat rejoice it go back to your seat check yourself
you sub make sure you're submitting your prayer requests. Make sure you're submitting your prayer requests. And then when they pray for you, you don't have to go back to another line. Once they pray for you, I'd like you to believe and see God is doing miracles. pass your prayer requests I exempted Pastor Jakes for a reason the 
Lord gave me a word and then I'm going to give him and um, are we together now? Praise the Lord. There is an anointing that is going to release upon you now before before we come to prayer. I know there are people, how far have we gone, those outside? There's still a number of people. Okay, rise up on your feet, please, quickly. Jakes. The Lord gave me an instruction to tell him to speak prophetically and release an anointing and a grace. Honestly, I don't know what anointing it is, but I want you to believe something heavy will come upon your life. Are you hearing me? Those outside, whether you are joining the line, they can still be praying for you while you receive this. It's going to be a very quick one. And then, um, ushers, please, let's have the request so that we can finish it because I, I'm still going to speak in your life and there will be some activations. Bless you, sir. David down the Lord is going to be placing upon you an anointing an anointing it will come upon you pare sufre tinda ilo si predia rekito fiesta kila handa ha ora ke te subelenda pragadose rekete ga baka kokosho ke palagana renda pa preia so palenda ha resa profilesa kalionde Barasoko palagada I feel like the fire of God moving upon the ground. It will come upon the feet of many now. Upon the feet of many. The fire of God will come upon your feet. The fire of God will burn your feet. There's a fire a quickening. My God. Palio friesa kiata la ronte. Barus itateli. Bo grakishti valande kalevose.
Tonight the Lord will open up portals for many as you sleep tonight. <laughs> Some of you have an experience of seeing a ladder as angels will ascend and descend bringing messages to you. Tonight, 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 tonight by the power of God's Holy Ghost. By the power of God's Holy Ghost. By the power of God's Holy Ghost. Jesus, we enthrone you. We proclaim you are standing here in the midst of Yeah, I sent the Lord's presence. <laughs> Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. And as we worship you, we build your throne. And as we worship you, Jesus, and take, take your, your place. place. We'll hurry up while the other ministers are busy ministering to the people outside. We are going to pray on the request now. Pastor Pete is going to lead us. Pastor Sajex, please help me since you're the only one here. We are praying for your request. I want you to believe God. Stretch your hands over this place. And I want you to begin to pray in the spirit, everybody. Stretch your hands. You are praying in the spirit. We may not be able to minister directly to everyone. But I want you to believe that God will touch you. Don't just stand watching. Make sure you pray. Stretch your hands. Those online, I want you to know that your requests are with us. We are laying hands by faith also. Those online, you are part of this. Stretch your hands right now as we pray. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Father in your divine wisdom. When you wanted to communicate to us the mysteries of your will. Lord you wrote it down for us to read. In the same vein oh God. Your sons and your daughters gathered across the nations. Those that are here. Those that are across the world. From the internet. They have written their own requests, understanding the mystery of the scribes. That whatever is written has a spiritual significance. Father, in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we release the angels that respond to the prayers of men. The angels in Revelation chapter 8, that burn those prayers as incense and they ascend to the throne room of God. Right now, by the power of God, let those angels move swiftly in the name of Jesus. An angel appeared unto Daniel and said, I have come because of your word. 
Father, let angels respond according to this request. In the mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Nothing here written will go back unanswered. We prophesy in the name of Jesus. The Bible says that the prayer of a righteous man availed much. Father, we are on our knees on this mountain, at this altar, bringing this request before the throne room of God. And the Bible says, He that goeth before the throne boldly shall come back, O God, with results and answers, and the grace and the mercies of God shall be released. Right now, we release grace. And Lord, we release mercy. In the name of Jesus, every prayer written in this ground, upon this mountain, it is answered in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Give Jesus praise. Give Jesus praise. Aside from those that are still praying for peace, everybody rise up. Please rise up quickly. Rise up to receive a prophecy and the impartation. Two things we'll do at once, just two, three minutes, and then we're done. Please make sure you wait to the end of the service so that you listen to every announcement. I want to pray. We want to, every miracle service is a platform to activate grace. You have seen certain dimensions of God, but there's more. Lift your hands. I want to pray for you and I'll join it with the prophecy. This is the second to the last miracle service for the year. So don't be careless about it. Open up your spirit. There are people here who have been crying and say, Lord, I know there can be a new dimension of grace. I have seen your hand in my life, but I want to see a greater level. I pray for you right now in the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Spirit. Drink of a new fountain of grace. Help him, please. Drink of a new fountain of grace. I activate the gifts of the spirit at the count of four. One, two, three, four. Step into it. Eyes be open, ears open. Receive impartations. Receive impartations. Receive grace, grace. Impartation in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you. The kind of favor that you have not seen from the start of this year till now. On this mountain tonight, I invoke it upon your spirit. May that favor come upon you. I call the heavens to bear witness that you are a carrier of favor in the name of Jesus Christ. Where it has worked for others and has refused to work for you, I declare the grace that makes things work the power of performance. Receive it right now. Receive it right now in the name of Jesus. Everything dead in your life. I don't care what and I don't care how long. In the name of the one who raised from the dead. I command that thing to come back to life. I prophesy that nothing dies in your hands. I prophesy that nothing dies in your hands. Tonight, like Pastor Jake prayed, revelations of strategies from the realm of the spirit. Receive it is coming on you. Receive it is coming on you. Receive it is coming on you. Supernatural impartation. I pray for you. Everyone here who wants to start a business, start a company, start something, any value adding platform. I prophesy upon you the spirit of influence may it come upon it the spirit of influence may it come upon it the spirit of influence may it come upon it every student here hear me I program your spirit to rise to a new dimension in the name of Jesus on common understanding on common illumination any final year student here who it looks as if you are not going from the look of things in the name of Jesus we change it here right now believe God we change it now we change it now we change it from your faculty 
we change it from your department by the authority of the kingdom in the name of Jesus anyone here carrying any track record of bad luck it works for others until it gets to your turn then there must be stories I separate you and bad luck forever. I separate you and tragedy forever. Hallelujah. This spirit that came to Zaria that is causing men to be sick, hear my voice. There is a platform where ambassadors are in this kingdom therefore i stand apostolically and prophetically we fortify the spiritual borders of this city and we banish such operations in the name of jesus may you and your kind be banished from this city in the name of jesus that spirit that brings accident and untimely death looming around our territory no 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 zaria is a place of light it's not the place where any spirit will come and loom and i speak prophetically across this place every spirit of untimely death hear my voice in the name of jesus i command the gates closed over you i command the gates closed over you not by accident not by bomb blast the gate closes over you everything that has left your hand that left your life that should not have left i don't care where it went to i call it back may it gather its kind and come to you i say it again everything that has left your life has left your hand may it gather its kind and return back to you listen anyone here who the devil has taunted spiritually financially in influence you are not rising for whatever reason in the name of Jesus I force you to rise in the name of Jesus, I force you to grow. If there is anybody in this place, from January till now, you have not stood here to testify, I prophesy to you, now and the next 30 days, may it be your turn to stand here. Believe me, believe me, now and the next 30 days, may you stand here to testify anyone here called jobless or you are doing a job that is not a job any nonsense thing around that is not bringing you tangible sizable benefit in the name of jesus i don't know where the jobs are we create vacancies and put you there we create vacancies and put you there any man or woman who said over his dead body for you to succeed i declare their prayers answer tonight i declare their prayers answer tonight i pray for you listen there is a mantle of honor upon this house and if you belong to this family it should be evident in your life and in case it's not yet working, like a programming in a computer, like an antivirus, I place that mantle of honor upon you. May it shield you from shame. May it, May it shield you from shame. Hallelujah. Every spiritual life that has died here, no more passion for the things of God no more passion for prayer no more passion for the word of God I plant in you a fresh passion tonight fresh passion tonight we're rounding up 
every family represented here that has not had a reason to smile this year it's been tears and tears from home every time they call you from home one episode of bad luck may this be the first good news you will hear good news of breakthrough good news of increase good news of speed in the name of Jesus Christ whoever rises up to find you may the God that I serve even in the secret may he fight them we're rounding up I pray for you barrenness or its kind looming around your life looming around your environment whether in your body whether in your finances whether in the works of your hands in your ministry in your business I pray for you the water that flows that makes the barren plant to receive strength and begin to rise and become a great tree I introduce that water into your life therefore I prophesy to you in the name of Jesus be fruitful be fruitful multiply multiply replenish subdue and may you command absolute dominion absolute dominion help them please every strange nightmare strangers roaming around your sleep not allowing you to enjoy the sleep that the saints should enjoy disturbing you oppressing you sleeping with you manipulating your dreams confusing you you don't know whether it's god speaking or it's the devil in the name of jesus i banish those strangers from your life forever i banish those strangers from your life forever in the name of jesus christ and i pray finally for you there is a spirit of increase there is a spirit that causes men to prosper there is a mantle that brings wealth from the east the north the south you have the value but you need the access you have the value already you are not a non-entity you already have what to give but the other side of the exchange is what you are looking for from the east to the west to the north to the south whoever must show up in your life in the next 30 days to be a ladder for you to climb to the next level I prophesy and I call them into your destiny I prophesy and I call them into your destiny there's someone here God is giving you a word go and register a company and just keep it you may not know what to do with it but just keep it keep it and give God space to use it and surprise you that's a prophetic word for somebody here just register it and keep it you there is no business to source for don't worry register it and keep it and give God space to surprise you may that happen to you in the name of Jesus Christ every circle of continual suffering where you think you are about to rise up another episode of trouble I declare where the devil put a comma I change it to a full stop never again never again never again in the name of Jesus Christ you're here you need Jesus you're saying man of God I've watched the things that the Holy Spirit has done I have seen the transformation keep standing please no sitting no moving around let's stand up please keep standing you're here and you're saying apostle I want you to pray for me I love Jesus Christ but for some reason my life has gone haywire. I cannot say that I'm truly enjoying relationship and fellowship with him. And there are others who are saying, man of God, this is the first time. I've always mocked at the things of God. I've never really been serious. But now, I'm making up my mind for Jesus. Overflow one, overflow two, all following us online. Wherever you are, I know that our time is gone, but let's honor Jesus 
We cannot end this meeting without giving this opportunity. Wherever you are, don't wait for anybody to come. Be the first. I want you to run like there's fire on the mountain and come and stand here. I want to lead you to Jesus. Jesus is already talking to some people. God bless you as you come. God bless you as you come. God bless you as you come. There are people outside. Run like there's fire on the mountain. Don't stroll around. Run like there's fire on the mountain. One. I'll count one to five and that will be it. Two. Lord, I give you my life. Three, please, we're out of time. Run, run to Jesus. I live for you. Every breath that I Come to him, he will give you a fresh start. A new beginning. Will you have your way? hallelujah if you are still coming please rush and join them it should not take a long time if you are still indecisive then just remain at your seat by now you should know where you stand when the titanic sank there were only two lists those who were saved those who were lost if you are not sure you are saved come out and join them because it means that you are not you are not saved you should be very sure if you are a man of god is like i think i'm saved come and join them and get a very uh, a, a high level of certainty to know that you are in Christ in the name of Jesus I appreciate everyone daddy thank you for coming and all those who have come to make this decision please understand you are not reciting a poem don't be emotional about it this is a simple decision but it's the greatest miracle you are opening up your heart to the life of God the Bible says and this life is in his son it says he that hath the son hath eternal life say this after me with all your heart and sincerely say Lord Jesus I love you with all my heart tonight I come to you and I declare that you receive my life and manage it for me I receive your life into my spirit I declare that from today Jesus is my Lord my savior my friend and my king i declare that satan has no power over my life i'm a child of god i'm born again in the name of jesus christ father i stretch my hands towards these great precious people bless them let this decision be genuine and let this be the beginning of great days in their lives i anoint you with grace I command that you begin to see the faithfulness and the goodness of God in the land of the living. I plant in you like a virus, a hunger for the things of God. And I declare that it will override every other passion in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Thank you for this great decision that you have made. Now hold on please. I want you to do two things for me. Number one, the Bible says, They that be planted in the house of the Lord, it says they shall flourish in the courts of our God. Visiting the house of God is not the key to consistency. You must settle down and receive the word. Our prayer meetings are Tuesdays, except for this week, we're making a little adjustment. I'm going to bring an announcement on that shortly. But you can be part of it for at least one month so that you can build your spiritual life. And then I want you to follow the gentleman waving his hands they'll have your details and then they'll warmly follow you up on our behalf and the lord will bless you in jesus name please this way all of you god bless you god bless you in jesus name koinonia are you appreciating them dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then, don't forget to like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing jesus i'll see you again bye